channel today I'm in Jimbocho and it's a place in Tokyo that I don't think a lot of tourists know about but it's actually known for being a book town so you can buy a lot of secondhand books here both in Japanese and English and today that's what I want to show you so let's get on to the video I'm really hungry and I found this really nice place for us to have lunch in so yeah let's go I just ate was called Gavial and it's this really nice traditional European curry style shop in Jimbocho. My friend Ming introduced it to me and I was really nervous to talk inside the store because it was lunchtime and there were so many people but I highly recommend going there it's right above exit one or two <laughs> I'll write the right exit down at Jimbocho station and I don't think you guys will regret it at all it's a really hearty meal full of carbs they give you a nice serving of curry and then you have a plate full of rice and two potatoes and yeah if that's not a carbo overload I don't know what is and it's actually really affordable I can tell that it's been there for a really long time it's right above a Hanamaru Udon near this intersection of Jimbocho so if you guys do have time, if you guys do come here, I would really suggest going. It's really full during peak hours, so please be careful about that. You might have to wait 10 to 15 minutes to get in, but it's so, so worth it. Now I'm going to walk around and show you guys some old bookstores or some used secondhand books that are in English. Hopefully I can walk away with some myself. I've been in a reading mood lately, so hopefully we walk away with something nice. Um, so the first one I'm going to is Magnet, and then I'm going to go to Kitazawa Bookstore, and then I'm going to go to a nice cafe to end the day. So Magnet was probably the coolest secondhand store I've ever been to. They have so many items from the past. They have books and magazines and catalogs even. And they're all pristinely preserved. And if you're a really big fan of like fashion, then I would suggest you go there. And the prices aren't too bad. It's really understandable for um, an old-fashioned book. It would cost about 2,000 yen. So yeah, that's not bad at all.
Hi guys, so I just finished this big Tazal bookstore and Magnif and I really like both bookstores for different reasons. I like Magnif because it's really focused on old magazines and catalogs from the past, both Japanese and American or British or just Western material in general. And so it's really hip and young and lively and stuff. It's pretty bright inside. And then you go to Kitazawa Bookstore, which specializes more in rarer, rarer foreign books. And they have so many, like, I don't know, I just felt like I was in the line, which in the wardrobe. It just felt so magical. Like, you enter the bookstore and it's dim and it smells like old books and in a really good way, though. Don't get me wrong. And you walk around and you see so many titles, like classic novels and contemporary ones as well, about Japan and about the rest of the world, classical novels and all that so I really enjoyed um, visiting both areas I didn't buy anything unfortunately but <laughs> I think I'll be back and I'll buy I'll definitely look into it more in depth and maybe I'll buy something I'll show you guys so yeah now I'm at Dixon's cafe it's about an eight minute walk from Jim Butcher station it's really hip I love it the interiors are like top-notch it's really quiet there are there are plugs, there are sockets and there's Wi-Fi so what more do you really need after a day of exploring Jim Butcher right so yeah basically i'm just gonna end the vlog here i'm gonna get some work done because i'm still working today and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys